we got a 2007 Freightliner and we're gonna do the door handle these door handles are loose he has problems with uh, with the actual lock locking and unlocking and uh, we're gonna see the reason why we already checked right here this uh, original door lock this part is gone already so this is the top part and see that top piece is gone already there's nothing there anymore it has to look like something like this with that piece and it has to have the little notch in the top when you turn it Let's see if I get a better picture of this You see the little notch up there? I try to get my camera to work right. But yeah, that's that's what I'm... You see how this one's different? You see it's not an original part. So, uh... What I went and did, and I went and got a... The lock, the door locks, like the little set. For 1972 Dodge Coronet. 1972 Dodge Coronet was the one that fit on there. And it fits just right. Like it's supposed to. It's the same diagram. That's supposed to be on there. Here's the new door handle right here. We're changing the door handle too. Because the door handle had a little bit of play on it. You see what I'm talking about? See where that lock is going to go into those same pieces it's going to go on like this just like it's supposed to it's right on too but I'm gonna put it together and I'll show you all right here we are now right, I put the lock on there you just slide that piece right there back on it's nothing big. All right. So then, uh, instead of using the original clip that I want you to use right there, to get a better picture of this thing, maybe my camera's a little dirty. Oh yeah, that does a little better. Okay, let's see. All right. Now I have this handle put together, and I have that lock. Locked in place right there in the back. Okay, looks the same in the front. Oh wow, 1972 Dodge Coronet. Oh, dealership part? What? They don't sell it. Dealership sells you this whole thing for $170 for all the locks. This is like a $10 part. AutoZone, Napa, whatever. Just ask them for one for 1972 Dodge Coronet door locks. That's it. Easy. Might have a different looking key. But hey, save some money. So instead of using that pin that goes in there, the one they give you, the original one, that that's supposed to go on there, I use this little locking pin right here because it's not going to go anywhere. And all you wanted to do is just to stay in place. And it looks like the ridge got a little bit more smaller right there. So this little pin will definitely work. I got this pin from a little assortment box at AutoZone. They have little assortment boxes. You can get a little assortment box for like seven, eight dollars with a bunch of these different ones. And you just put the right size that goes on there. And done. Right, right there. Okay, so that didn't work. So we're not gonna just take this piece out. See if I can get this thing loosened up a little bit so that I can have a little bit of play. So when I put it in there, yeah, see, okay, it's a little loose over here, too. Has a little bit of play. So, and then put your face. So I guess you have to put the pin afterwards because in there, that little piece fell out when I was installing it. So I guess I'm gonna put the 
10 afterwards. It was too uh, too much force for it, so it came off. But like, like when you put the pin in there, it's not going to have any force because it's, it's pretty strong. It doesn't move. I'm just going to grab this one. And I'll do this again. Okay, so on this back part right here, there's, there's going to be a 10 millimeter screw right here that, uh, you know, it goes on there to hold this bracket in place. And then once you take that 10 millimeter screw out, you can pull this, this big old bracket out. And this is what's going to hold the door together with a hinge. And uh, that's going to go in between here on the top and on the bottom. Once you got all that under, put it on. It goes this way. There's only one way it can go on. You can't, you can't put it this way. You have to put it uh, this way like this. The little hinge going this way. So now we give it a little demonstration, a little example. We just slide it on there. But the new handle is going to come with the new one, so we're going to put the new one. I use the original screw. It's right there. So that's the original screw right there. So I got it on nice and tight already, so it's not all loose. You got to check your grip on it, make sure everything's good. And it looks a lot better though. Brand new. We gotta connect these, then we got this one. It's obvious. It's the one down here. This is the one that comes up from the door handle. From the top, this door handle. And uh, then we got the one that unlocks it. This one's on the top. That one came off completely, that one just fell off. So I'm going to put that one first. That one looks like this. And then this one, of course you can tell which way it's going to go. It's going to go on the hole up here. Once you get it through there, then you can connect it down here. Alright, so I closed the door and I locked it. No, it's not going to open no more. Let's unlock this door. Okay. Now it opens good, like it's supposed to. Let's lock it up here again. And let's close the door. Now we can't open it. Now we're gonna unlock one, it. Five, five, nine, six, one, there we go. Four. So there it is. So doors all put back together. Door handle opens like it should. Now we're gonna lock this door. We're gonna leave this semi truck alone and we're out of here. Just like brand new, like a brand new truck. So this side is the one that's used the most. So that's definitely a, an issue that they have a lot. And this is 2007, but the key worked.